Thank you, Maria, and congratulations. Yet another ELAC project groundbreaking here in Boal Heights. Uh, you know, ELAC has been doing a great things for our community, revitalizing it, uh, providing affordable housing, uh, organizing our residents for a better community. Let's give ELAC and Maria Cabildo a big round of applause. Thank you for the work you do. And Maria, you know, we have a farmer's market now here every Friday. You no longer need to go downtown. <laughs> and if things work as planned, we're going to have another supermarket nearby in the near future with some of these parcels that are open for the, uh, from the MTA after they completed the gold line. But ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, I think that, you know, George Cummings, uh, who built this hotel about 121 years ago, uh, had, uh, had would be proud that here we are, 121 years later, preserving one of the most iconic buildings uh, in Ball Heights, uh, near with our Breed Street Shul and other great uh, historical buildings that we have in the area. And we certainly have to do more to preserve our history here. As Maria touched upon it, here in Ball Heights we have a great history, being that this was once the first, one of the first suburbs for the city of LA. And we're doing just that. Through my urging, the planning department has conducted the first pilot uh, here in Boyle Heights to survey all of the area and to identify potentially historic sites. The Community Redevelopment Agency has also, in its project area, undertaken the same project. And we are excited about that. We are excited about that because we know that once we identify these potentially historic sites, we will do more to preserve them and preserve our history here in the area. And for me, t since taking office about four and a half years ago, recognizing the importance of this beautiful structure, uh, it was an, uh, a priority of mine to make sure I help those move it forward. And I was excited to know that when ELAC purchased it, we had uh, in our hands uh, one of the best uh, developers in the area to make sure this project has come to fruition. And I remember those early days, Maria, when yes, uh, through the relocation and other issues, it was a very difficult time when ELEC was actually put in a position where they usually are on the other side of the fence, advocating for tenants' rights, and now they were there finding a compromising compromise, finding some good way to make sure this project moved forward. So I'm really happy that ELEC has selected to do this $24 million project. You know, we have... Uh, here in Boyle Heights, uh, we are now undertaking a great facelift, as we call it. You know, we do have years of neglect, uh, years of decline, lack of resources. But now if you see what is happening in Boyle Heights, in just these past two years alone, we've seen about a $1.5 billion in new public project improvements. That includes this beautiful new gold line, four new schools, a new police station, a new daycare center, improvements to parks, improvements to our libraries, improve a renovated Roosevelt High School pool. You are seeing this renovation take place right before our eyes. And in the near future, we just announced last week that First Street will undertake a $12 million public improvement project where we will encourage more artist uses. And what better way than to start here on Boyle with the iconic Boyle Hotel and Mariachi Plaza across the street, all the way down First Street with Casa 01010001, however you pronounce it. Those of you who uh, know what I'm talking about, sometimes forget to say how many zeros are in that. And uh, also the, uh, the other artist uses in the area. We are undertaking continued improvements. On Cesar Chavez, we will start a project with the Community Development Agency to underground all the utilities to uh, improve the landscape and street streetscape there. And we have many other ideas in mind to continue the region innovation that we see here at, um, at uh, Boyle Heights. So with this stunning hotel uh, now being front and center with the beautiful downtown landscape, I know that Ball Heights and the future generations that come will be proud to say that they are from Ball Heights. So I know that um, something is happening because that's the second set of fire station uh, fire trucks coming by.
So with that, let me thank uh, my staff member, Tara Devine, if you could please give her a round of applause. Uh, she worked with ELAC uh, to make sure the entitlements went through smoothly. Uh, and she worked with the CRA to make sure when they were applying with the funding and other, uh, the city housing department. Uh, we wanted to make sure that ELAC uh, came through uh, and delivered, and that's why we're here today. When I was on the school board and we started building so many schools, I used to say, I love groundbreakings, but I love ribbon cuttings even more. And I know we'll be here in a couple of years to once again open up this beautiful, iconic building to all, for all of Los Angeles to see in the re renew, renewed and renovated Ball Heights. And last but not least, uh, the mariachi certainly deserve our praise uh, for never giving up on this wonderful corner here. Uh, and certainly, as Maria said, anybody who can give to our recently uh, uh, homeless mariachis uh, because of a fire just down the street, uh, please uh, uh, consider that uh, they are now uh, looking for a means to get back their instruments, their mariachi outfits, and just uh, for them to make a simple life. So thank you very much. And as someone who also grew up here in, uh, in Boyle Heights uh, and still lives in Boyle Heights, uh, for me uh, to see this happen, to remember the history, it's important for myself, my kids, and their kids to come. So thank you very much, Maria. Thank you very much, Ilac. Si se puede, adelante.